we first met Elo at Concourse d'Elegance and just talking to him, we knew we had to come down here to the London Motor Museum, spend some real time with him, get to know all about this museum and the amazing rides he's got up in here. Hello. The museum first opened in 2001 and then you moved out to, here to Hayes. Why was that? I grew my uh, old location. In 2001 I had a museum with about eight cars okay. and I wasn't recognised as a museum. Mm. So I moved from there to Acton where I had 30 cars. Mm. I still wasn't recognised as a museum because I said museums have to have at least um, 40 minutes or 45 minutes of entertainment. Wow. So I then thought, how would I do that? And then I thought, well, if it's just acquiring and building cars, that's mm. my hobby. So mm. I moved into this v venue in 2007. Mm. And um, it was a challenge because I just first occupied just the first front. Okay. But now I filled it up. Yeah. My wife told me, soon you'll fill it up. And yeah. I, it was full. And within, within about a year and a half, it was completely full. So. <laughs> amassed over 200 cars <laughs> it's just amazing and looking at the quality as well how how did you do it it's funny because once you become a car man and once you're common and people know you love cars they just offer you cars i get at least 10 or 20 cars between 10 and 20 cars offered to me really? daily yes wow. okay. i'm very retro mm. people say it's not a museum, it's actually a retro gallery. <laughs> you know, because I don't keep standard rims. Like yeah. you see this car there, it's got like custom rims, custom grill, yeah. custom paint job. This yeah. is not the paint job in, in the 60s. Mm. This is a 1965 Riviera, but it's mm. completely custom down. Mm. It's got the fur, which gives it that pimpish look. Yeah. And the, 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 leopard screw, the, the leopard interior, which yeah. gives that whole, you know, you know, movies back in the 70s. Yeah. I mean, the Al Pacino movies actually what got me to do that. Oh, wow. Okay. If you remember the Al Pacino film, yeah. where he came in a Cadillac with yeah. the leopard skin yeah. interior, yeah. I thought, yeah, <laughs> I think I need to have one in leopard skin interior <laughs> just to give it that vibe. Mm. So that's more or less what it is. It's, yeah. it's you know, whenever, whatever I feel, whatever I think works, whatever, I just do it. I don't keep it original. Yeah. People want to see original cars. You can go to museums all around the world. Yeah. You have 10 million museums showing the cars as they were built. Mm. There we have Snoop Dogg's car, which yeah. I bought from Snoop. Um, we didn't do anything to it because it's actually customed already. Yeah. Snoop is like me, we're yeah. all custom people. So yeah. he has it on hydraulics, uh, all goes up and down, side to side, jumps around. Mm. So that's how it all began. Yeah. It's one on one in one package. Yeah. It's a style thing. So we've moved location because we know Elo is a huge gumball enthusiast. So we had to come out and check out the cars and get to know a bit more about this whole gumball thing. Now, what's this about you racing in the uh, SSC Ultimate Aero and then, you know, world's fastest production car but didn't actually win? How did that happen? <laughs> My uh, good friend called me up and says, are you doing the gumball this year? And I said, why? He says, I'm in LA, we're going to be doing the gumball. And I'm like, well, I don't want to fly car to LA and yeah. everything. He's like, you got to do the gumball because there's a guy here with a Bugatti. He's blowing his head that he's got the world's fastest car. Right. And I, that just got me. I thought, oh, screw this. <laughs> so I flew my car to LA and then I did the gumball in that car. Mm. My friends bet a lot of money on me winning, but oh, obviously boy. I was a bit, I must say, I'm a bit responsible. Yeah. Top speed I did with that car was 191 miles an hour yeah. in Arizona. Oh. <laughs> and I just could not push it anymore. <laughs> it does a, a, a top speed of 257. Mm. So I still had room to go Whoa. another. And my co-driver, Jimmy Jean-Louis, the guy from Heroes, yeah. 
he was like come on son let's hit 200 <laughs> let's hit 200 come on come on i'm like i got kids i want to see them get married you know <laughs> All right, well, let's move on to the custom side of things because I know you've actually customised a lot of cars for some of the guys taking part, including Bum B and Eve. So you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, we um, because we're in the custom car business, um, whenever there's gumball, we always get calls and we get calls by celebrities saying, mm. do you want to bring a car? And um, they want to bring a car to America, but it, the whole cost of shipping the car and bringing yeah. it back, what do I have? So we'll take a car here, customize it, mm. and put it in a gumball for them. Mm. Um, with Bombi, it was funny because I've known him from the other gumballs, and yeah. he's like, I want a car as big as my personality. And I'm like, <laughs> well, the only car I've got which is as big as your personality, that would take all your, your DJ equipment. Yeah. And that would, you know, would haul a lot of girls in the car because yeah. he needed something to haul a lot of girls as well. <laughs> would be only the Escalade. So yeah. he says, but I don't want it standard. I said, don't worry, it wouldn't be standard. So yeah. we got it all chromed out for him. Mm. It was all chrome, and then we had chrome rims and mm. big sound system, navigation. Mm. He said, I need navigation, otherwise I'll get lost. <laughs> so I gave him navigation. But yeah. it was good. It was a good car. It was, cool. uh, for Eve and Max, uh, they wanted a camouflage. The no one had ever done the rally in a camouflage phantom drophead. Mm. They wanted a phantom drophead camouflage. Whoa. So I had one in stock. So we customized that for Eve and... And they had that, which mm. was good because it was all over the all over the press. It was mm. about this camouflage. Who takes a 350 grand car and then and makes then it camouflage? <laughs> yeah. Well, only at London Motor Museum. Hey, grab here. attention. <laughs> only here. <laughs> <laughs>